2013 has been simultaneously boring and yet touch and go. Uh, touch and go in the sense, will the economy um, perk up at all? And amazingly enough, it did. But at the same time, it did feel as if the whole world was locked into a static um, position for fear of declining, you know, um, uh, and that everything was awful, but not quite as awful as it could be. So hold on and be careful. Well, 2013 has been a very pleasant surprise where we haven't had a triple dip recession and the economy has actually recovered really well over certainly the, the first nine months of the year at least. And what we're looking for in terms of 2014 is actually more of the same with a broadening of the recovery, the housing market getting more traction, and hopefully a little bit more of a recovery in the Euro area, our main trading partner, to assist the UK export industries. One question is, is this sustainable? Well, we are recovering from a big financial collapse, so the economy is more vulnerable. But we do think that increased mortgage availability and better levels of confidence suggest that we're less likely to have a full start as we have had over the past couple of years on a couple of occasions. Well, the big political question is who controls the story. If the story is about the aggregate economy and its growth, then the Conservatives are in a very good place because they'll get the benefits of that political change. If, however, the story continues to be about the cost of living, which it has been over the last six weeks, then Labour are in the lead on that issue. So those two things are, in a sense, the same thing, which is the economy. But which type of economy will we be talking about? The overall economy, which is growing not quite nicely, or the specific way it comes into people's household budgets. And that, on that one, Labour's got a good position. So that's the central political question, which is what type of economy do we have? A lot of people will feel very disenchanted and very disillusioned that the alleged prosperity isn't coming their way, that things aren't getting better for them, and in some cases they're getting worse. Getting worse in the simple sense and here we're not talking about only about the very poorest, um, but the squeeze middles as well, that things will seem to be getting significantly worse in terms of cost of living factors that bear on ordinary people much more than on rich people, like energy charges, stuff like that. And so they'll start to think, what about us? You know, when's it coming our way? And whose fault is it? And people will be looking for scapegoats, and they'll be looking for saviours. And that's the time when, if you're a classic old demagogue, because saviours are usually the per people who point to the scapegoats and say, it's their fault, kill them.